Welcome to the final part of the Pinterest Money Course. In the previous six parts, we've developed a system to automate work on Pinterest, allowing us to manage multiple accounts, generate content, and automatically fill these accounts. Through a variety of practical tasks, you've mastered Python object-oriented programming, and now there are almost no unsolvable tasks for you. But now we face new questions. How to scale correctly, learn to convert traffic, and take our work to the pro level? The answers to these questions await you in the final, seventh part of the course, which you can find on my Patreon page. Here's what I've prepared for you. We'll start by laying the foundation and discussing the basics of traffic. This knowledge will help you understand what traffic really is and how to convert it. These insights are crucial for maximizing profit with any type of traffic. I've already shared some of these slides on my Telegram channel. We'll discuss consumer needs so you can understand what people really want. We'll cover the customer journey and end the marketing funnel. We'll study the IDA funnel, which is one of the main model in marketing and the basis of our work. We'll discuss the concept of a bunch, different types of bunches and their relationship with the funnel. We'll cover pre-landers, their purpose and a methodology for creating effective pre-landers. We'll discuss types of keywords, their relationship with the funnel and three strategies for working with keywords on Pinterest. Additionally, I'll provide tips on registering for affiliate programs without prior experience. Next, we'll connect a traffic tracker, learn how to create campaigns, and generate links that we'll then insert into our uploader. We'll also complete the code for automatically inserting parameters into the links. Then, we'll talk about proxies. Which proxies are suitable for our work and which are not? Why mobile proxies are the best? And we'll explore three ways to create your own 4G or 5G mobile proxies for just a few dollars a month. We'll also write a proxy checker to ensure the proxies are working correctly and that our bots' requests are indeed going through the proxies. Next, we'll move on to proper account registration, learning how to set up an anti-detect browser and work with it. We'll also learn how to save and import cookies into the bot immediately after registration, eliminating the need to call the login method since authorization will be done automatically. Next, you'll receive the product pin generator. This bot includes three design templates and is suitable for generating pins for any product in any niche. All you need to do is place product photos in folders and set the text. The bot will automatically overlay and adjust the image sizes. You can learn more about this bot on my Telegram channel, where I discussed it in detail in this post. You'll also get the updated code for the Pinterest monster, which now includes these design templates. Next, you'll receive Pexels Bot, which allows you to download images and videos based on specified keywords and other parameters. This bot is useful if you want to fill an account with general themed content. Another bot you'll receive is the Running Line Bot, which overlays a running text line with a call to action on videos. This bot can be useful not only for Pinterest, but also for other traffic sources. Next, you'll receive the solution to the Homework Pro assignment from Part 6 of the course. We'll enhance our prompt builder and write a mode for generating general themed content based on pre-made titles. Then, we'll discuss warming up accounts. In other words, preparing accounts for work. After that, you'll receive the updated code for Pinterest Monster with all the modifications, proxy checker, code for preparing links, added mode for general content, three new design templates in the image generator. Additionally, I have written alternative methods for uploading images and creating boards, which work with the new API endpoints. These methods are essential in case Pinterest ever disables the old endpoints. Finally, you'll receive a checklist to consolidate your knowledge. This will provide you with a step-by-step -step action plan and additional tips for your work. Congratulations on completing the course. That's all from me. I hope you enjoyed being in my world. Wishing you lots of traffic and maximum profit.